Ali Live and Family. David Kirui was born in 19, 1966 as a third born child to the late James Rugut and Sipora Rugut in Tuya Bay Philet, Sebanga in Kanoin Subconte. Fourth, Esther Bide Wambua. Father to Choice Yelangat Kirui. Chris Chef Kirui Kirui, Josephine Chef Kimoy Kirui, and Anne Chebet Kirui. Sibling, the late Rachel Maina, the late Philip Kirui, Mother Kenduyua, the late Andrew Kirui, Esther Good, Joel Kirui, the late Priscilla Ketuan, Andrew Good, and Joseph Kirui. Son in law to the late Wambua Kivui and Anne Maya Wambua. In-laws, Juliana Kirui, Judith Kirui, Joyce Kirui, and Janet Kirui. Alfred Maina, John Kenduyo, and David Ketuan. Kitili, Joel Wambua, 
Moli wa mbua. Sivota wa mbua, Kimanzi wa mbua, Kaumo wa mbua and the late Waiwa Kasanduku. Nephew to the late Opo Serono Lesan, the late George Kirui, Joseph Rugut, the late Opo Tavelka Ngeno, and the late Daniel Rugut. Uncles and cousins. David is an uncle and cousin to many. Education. David Kirui started, started schooling in Kaptebenguet Primary School in 1974 to 1981. He joined Koiwa Secondary School for all level in 1982 and left in 1985, proceeding to Lake Nakuru Secondary School for A's level from 1986 to 1987. <coughs> he then joined Nairobi University and graduated in 1991. Provision and work. David was employed in National Housing Corporation on 26th of September 1991, where he worked at and rose to the rank of Chief Human Resource Officer. Family and social life. David got married to Esther Mbide Wambua on 30th December 1994 at Holy Trinity, S.E.K. Kericho. They were placed with four children, he was a very caring <coughs> and loving husband and father. Health. He was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 2004. Since, since then, he has been treated in various hospitals, including Agagan Hospital, Nairobi, Agagan Hospital, Kisumu, Tenwek Mission. He developed kidney complications and started dialysis treatment at both Siloam and Gagan hospitals until his untimely death on 18th August 2021, while being attended at Agagan Hospital in Kisumu. Second, Timothy 4.7, I have fought a good fight, I have finished the rest and I have kept the faith. David Kikori in 1966 and Bay Village, Grace Chepkirui Kirui, Josephine and Anne Kirui. Kirui, Esther Good, Joel Kirui, Agina and Negigo Boy Priscilla, Andrew Good, Ak Joseph Kirui. Son in law David Jama, the late Wambua Kibui, Ak and Maya Wambua. Koba Murwe David, Koba Murta David, the boy Juliana Kirui, Judith Kirui, Joyce Kirui, Ak Janet Kirui, Alfred Minor, John Kenduya, Ak David Kakitwan. Kitili, Jel Wambua, Moni Wambua, Siovata Wambua, Kimanzi Wambua, Kaumo Wambua, again and Negi Womun, Wayua Kasanduku. Kobule and Nifu, Nifu David Nebo, the late Opochi Ronolesa, the late George Rugut, Joseph Rugut, the late Obota Velga, again at the late Daniel Rugut. Ko angle David akas in the world pikecha. So manet after David. Kina after David so manet in in primary. Enita 1974. Agata ringe enita 1984. Kichuti ne ndet koywa high school for all level enita 1982. Ago proceeded ne ndet college na kuru high school for A level. Konge ten enita 1986. Ago enita 1987. <coughs> Kichuti ne at University of Nairobi, I will graduate in the year 1991. In my shit, I have to be a national housing corporation for the year 1991. I will be a vice president and rank for the chief human resource officer. Family, access your life, never tell me. 
Kikeswa tebit inendet eng kenyit ab December 1994. 30 December 1994 ako kikam kimut inendet Esther Bide Wambua. Kia arusi en Kericho Politrinity. Kikiberuri cheket ak loaga ngwa chuka ange somanu chebet chepkirui, chepkemoy na chelangat. Ki, he was a very caring and loving husband and a father. Ago po miyanda ap tebit eh. Ki ginyor chi tebit enge nyit ap 204 miyanda ap diabetes eh. Ki gisko miyanda ap sugarum. Ki ginyay nendet konget enge nyit ap 204 eh sivitali isha ke ujo. Aga Khan Hospital Nairobi. Aga Khan Hospital Kisumu. Tenwek Mission Hospital. Kakate. Siloam Gericho. Saint Leonard's Kericho aga lak checha. Ki na ami nendet konyor miyanda ap saramok en Aginya en Siloame aga kakaan Antil Gongo Mui David en Tarikit Tarikit Taman ak Sisit Araeta ak Sisit En Genyilita 2021 Ki nginyo en ene ten aga kakaan Tabuta ap Timati Kurgata ngwan Faitata ap Tisa komu wagole I have fought a good fight I have finished the race And I have kept the fight Sigo Mui David en ele mye Kase Kupanya ipata peke Amongi kegele Kemi ibu kwa ito Choko katika safari So kabla sija ingia katika maubiri ya ziti ya leo Nataka ufungwe program kama umepata program Nataka ufungwe program wako nyuma Kuna wimbo imeadi kwa 168 Nataka tusimame ili tuweze kuhiba wimbo huwa Ya mwana itaika kodi ya mara Nilele itaika popa mbatuka Na uwa haki wataika pochu sajika ngambo Majina ya itwa polo niweko Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo niweko Siku ila watakatifu wataika po ampa Na kuono ka uru kaburi ni Wataka po kusanyika maka one kuleju Majina ya itwa polo niweko Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo niweko Tutende kasi kwa Yesu mjana kutwa kwa bidi Tutangase kote pendo la iku Na yu kasi itakabo timika hapa chini Majina ya itwa polo niweko Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo Majina ya itwa polo niweko Baba wetu tunakuja mbele zako tena Tunakualika uweze kwa pamoja nasi. Tunapoenda kusoma neno lako. Uwe pamoja nasi na utufariji. Mkae ndani ya mioe yetu. Ebu neno lako lipate nafasi. Tunaomba haya, tukiamini. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, alie buwana na mumbezi wetu. Amen. Tunaiza kwa. Niweze kuchukua nafasi hii ya kipeke. Niweze kwa karibisha nyote. Katika masaha haya. Hizi tuweze kwa namana pamoja. Katika usomaji wanena la mungu Na nitaomba Zela Hata nifomea Bibilia Bibilia Hata soma ya kaweji lawa ya kiswaili Sijui hata soma gani ya kaweji lawa ya kiswaili Kaweji Ok sawa sawa So tunashikuru mungu Nilipo kuwa niki watilia Katika uolo jiwa Marehemu, nikapata kwamba 
yeye hakuwa mzee sana. Alikuwa bado anahitajika. Aweze kuhudumu katika taifa, katika nji na katika familia yake. So am uh, ni wanasikia kwamba watu wanasema kwamba tunasherekea. Ah uh, hatuwezi sherekea kifo. Hata kama mtu alikuwa msee sana, hatuwezi sherekea. Kwa sababu hii kitu ni kitu mbaya ambayo ikile, ikikuja inaleta usuni. Inaleta usuni sana katika mioyo ya watu. Lakini hii haikuwa mpango wa Mungu. Haikuwa mpango wa Mungu kabisa. Mpango wa Mungu ilikuwa ni kwamba mwanadamu aweze kuishi miaka mingi. Nataka usome katika kitabu cha mwanzo. Mwanzo moja mstari wake wa 31. Mwanzo moja mstari wa 31. Tabu tafuta uniko kata genge, hapo alikeni ngosa mbaga genge. Amache ni soma ngale kwa tani batai. Kama kule ne, inasema namna gani? Ale ile 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 mtu ile tu tuko ni ndiki gawe yeye. Kwenye nia kia ni sisi. So hapo inasema kwamba Mungu aliweza kuona kwamba vitu vyote alivyoviumba ilikuwa vema sana. Haikuwa na dasari yoyote. Ilikuwa kamili. It was perfect. Alikuwa ameziumba vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vinapendeza sana. Na vitu hivi ambavyo vilikuwa vinapendeza sana ilikuwa ni pamoja na mwanadamu. Mwanadamu alikuwa amepangiwa aweze kuishi miaka ya milele. Alikuwa amepangiwa aweze kufa. Alikuwa amepangiwa aishi milele. Lakini ikatokea kitu ambacho mpaka sasa hivi tunajiuliza kwa nini aliweza kufanya hivyo. Adamu akapewa kikumu na Mungu aweze kuchagua. Na kitu ambacho aliweza kuchagua ni kitu kibaya sana kwa sababu unapoangalia hapa mbele yetu kuna jeneza na hapo ndani kuna mwili wa mtu ambaye alikuwa hai wiki moja uliyopita lakini sasa analala bila uhai. Na unapoangalia hakuna mtu ambaye anakaribia hata wale ambao wamekaa karibu naye Mnapata kwamba wanaiogopa ndio ndio mmoja ndani yeye yuko mmoja mchata watakotebia kuchata kwa yeye so Mungu alikuwa amepanga kwamba kila kitu ambacho alikuwa amekifanya aweze kuwa vema sana lakini kuna kitu ambacho kiliweza kutenganisha mwanadamu na umilele wake na kitu hicho ni dhambi kitabu cha mwanzo tatu mstari wake wa kwanza kuna kitu ambacho kiliweza kutokea ikanasema namna gani ndipo <laughs> nyoka pale ambaye tuliambiwa kwamba alikuwa mdanganyifu sana kwa wanyama wote ambao Mungu alikuwa ameumba nyoka alikuwa mdanganyifu sana na tutachua nyoka huyu ni nani lakini hata angalia sana leo kitu ambacho nataka niweze kuangazia ni kwamba aliweza kumwongelesha mwanamke alipomwongelesha mwanamke akaweza kuuliza je Mungu aliweza kusema kwamba msile kila tunda ambalo Niko katika shamba la Eden. Yule mwanamke akamwambia hapana, hapana. Alituambia tuweze kukula matunda yote lakini kuna moja ambaye aliweza kutokataza. Alipoambia hivyo akasema kwa nini? Swali ni kwa nini? Ndipo unapata mwanadamu mpaka saa hizi anauliza maswali. Unapomwambia kwamba kitu hiki ni kibaya anakuuliza swali, kwa nini? Unapomwambia kwamba uzipita hapa anakuuliza swali kwa nini? Kwa nini hiyo haikuanza leo? Ilianza tangia wakati wazazi wetu wa kwanza walipoongea pamoja na yule yoka. Akawaluzi uliza swali hilo, kwa nini? Yule mwanamke akamwambia kwamba tukikula tutakufa. Akamwambia amtakufa. Mtakapokula mtafanana na Mungu. Na je, kweli wanafanana na Mungu? 
Kitu ambacho tunajua kwamba ni kwamba wakati walipokula tunda hilo kitu ambacho kilifanyika ni kwamba walichipata kwamba walikuwa uji. Na unaposoma Biblia mzima unapata kwamba walikuwa uji lakini hawakuwa wanaogopa. Kwa sababu utukufu wa Mungu ilikuwa mwafunika. Lakini walipokula lile tunda yule mwanamke pamoja na mumewe wakaijiana wako uji na wakaanza kutoroka wakaenda kujificha so ninaona watu ambao wanatambia uji wakikimbia ndani ya matawi wakikimbia ndani ya msitu kutafuta matawi ya kufunika uji wao dhambi ikaleta shida dhambi hiyo ikaleta shida shida hii ambayo tunaangalia mpaka sasa ni dhambi iliyo ingia katika dunia hii kupitia kwa yule mwovu shetani iliyofanya wazazi wetu wa kwanza waweze kuwazi Mungu na ikafanya wazazi wetu wa kwanza waweze kufa unapoingia katika kila bomba unapata kwamba kuna kaburi na kaburi hiyo ni kwa sababu ya damu iliyofanya wazazi wetu waweze kufa so unaporuka hapo unapoenda kitabu cha muhubiri muhubiri saba msari wake wa 29 kuna kitu ambacho inasema Muhubiri saba msari wa 29. Inasema namna gani? Kama umefika pale. 729. Mwaiko ndede. Mwaiko ndede. Mwaiko ndede. Ehe. Ogero. Kiyaji wa gunito ni kitio pale. Yai go muto ile tito guju ema bawi tie gige tie tugu checha ke tawne Kumbe Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu akaweza kujitavutia vitu gani katika dunia hii Ni vitu gani sana Alimuumba mwanadamu kamili akapatia nafasi ya kuishi milele akapatia nafasi ya kuwa na furaha Na kitu ambacho aliweza kujagua ni kitu gani Aliweza kuchagua kitu kibaya ambacho ni kifo, magonjwa, shida, taabu. Mpaka sasa hivi tunawaboleza. Mpaka sasa hivi tunalia. Kwa sababu tumepatana na shida ambayo mwanadamu aliweza kujitavutia. Lakini Mungu hii haikuwa wazo wake wa kwanza. Haikuwa jambo ambalo alikuwa na wazia kumpatia mwanadamu Haikuwa mpango wake lakini shetani akaja na akafuruga jambo hilo. Akaweza kumpatia kando na kupatia kuwazi Mungu, aliweza kupatia kitu ambacho kinaitwa kifo. Usuni, shida, taabu, magonjwa. Na hayo yote yanatandama. Baka sasa hivi. Lakini tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo ambaye aliweza kuja katika dunia hii ili aweze kutukomboa kitabu cha Warumi tano nataka uwazie mstari wake wa nane Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo Yesu Kristo aliweza kuja na alipokuja akaweza kufanya jambo la maana sana akaweza kufanya namna gani Thomas Father is saying Warumi tano mstari wake wa nane Yasema namna gani Pamoja wote tena Ehe So kutena tena ni kwamba aliweza kutoa mwanao wa pekee ambaye ni Yesu Kristo. Tungali tulipo kukua katika dhambi. Tukiwa tunaendelea kukua katika dhambi, Yesu Kristo katika upendo wake aliweza kuja ili aweze kutukomboa katika Mauti hii Sasa wakati huu Wote tunalala Tukingojia siku wa mbae Yesu Kristo atakamu rejia tena mara ya pili Alikuja mara ya kwanza Hili ya wese kutukomba katika nani Na halipo kufa Na akafuvuka Akafuvuka pamoja nesi Wata mbao wata muamini Maisha yao Ya mefika pamoja na Yesu Kristo So mtu ya yote ambaye anataka kuishi milele tena anatafuta nafasi 
katika Yesu Kristo na nafasi hii inapatikana kwa kuamini tu unamwamini Yesu Kristo ili uweze kuwa na upendo huu so upendo huo tuliowanyeshwa kwa Yesu Kristo aliweza kufa kwa ajili yetu ili tufanye namna gani endelea Mungu na tisa Ini <laughs> ya kuishi milele. So hiki kifo ni cha muda tu. Na tujui ni muda kiasi gani. Lakini tunajua ni ya muda tu. Itafika wakati ambapo Yesu Kristo atakuja. Wote ambao walimwamini, wote ambao walikumkubali kwa wokovu wa maisha yao watapata nafasi ya kuishi tena milele katika mpango ule wa kwanza wa Mungu ya wanadamu kuishi milele hata kufa tena so itafika wakati ambapo tutakuvuliwa na tuweze kuishi pamoja na Mungu milele na milele kitabu cha Yohana tano mstari wake wa 28 na 29 amen 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 yes so Kemudian Kemudian lakini wote ambao hawakupokea Yesu Kristo watavuka waweze kuingia katika mauti ya milele. Na hiyo ni uchaguzi ambao Mungu ameweza kumwachia mwanadamu. Una nafasi ya kuchagua sasa. Na ukiwa na nafasi, tumia nafasi hiyo kwa njia inayofaa. Uweze kuchagua kuishi tena maisha ya milele na kuchagua hiyo ni kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo unamkubali Yesu Kristo naye atakuongoza ili uweze kuwa na uzima wa milele pasipo Yesu Kristo hatuwezi kupata uzima wa milele so tuna nafasi sasa ili tuweze kuwa na uzima wa milele kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo wote ambao walikubali waliitwa wana wake so mpendwa nafasi yako sasa kuchagua David amemaliza mwendo wake. Na alimaliza mwendo wake akiwa amefanya uchaguzi wake. Na uchaguzi huo ni Mungu peke yake anajua. Na zingine tunasema kwamba yeye hapo ni Kristo kumbe amefanya uchaguzi wake. So, amefanya uchaguzi wake na uchaguzi wake umefungwa. Na anangojea tu kufuguliwa. Siku Yesu Kristo atakaporejea. Je, wewe ulie hapa? ambao wamepewa nafasi. Uhai, ukiwa bado uko na afya nzuri, chagua uweze kumtumikia Mungu ili itakapofika siku ya kulala kwako kwa sababu wote tunajua kwamba tutalala. Hakuna hata mmoja hapa ambaye atasema kwamba nitaishi. Tuseme miaka moja kutoka sasa. Sijui ni wangapi watakuwa. Miaka moja kuanzia sasa. Wangapi watakuwa hai wakati huo? Miaka moja, ongezea ile ambayo uko nayo. Kuna yule ambaye atasema kwamba atakuwa hai. Kuna mzee mmoja aliniambia, "Pastor, mtakufa wote nitawashika, mimi nitabaki peke yangu." Na wengi wamekufa. So, 
zizi zote tutakufa kama Yesu Kristo atakuja baada ya miaka 100 kutoka sasa sisi zote tutakufa hasa kuwa lakini je uamuzi wako sasa uamuzi wako sasa itategemea kama utapata uzima wa milele ama utakuwa kati ya wala ambao watahukumiwa so mpendo uko na nafasi ya kuchagua tena kuchagua uweze kumfuata Yesu Kristo ili uweze kuwa na uzima wa milele uweze kufuata maagizo ya Mungu yapo mbeleni ya kuwa mwanadamu ataishi milele so tuko na nafasi ya kuchagua sasa mpendwa tunapoenda kumaliza nataka tusome fungu hili kitabu cha atazonuliko wa kwanza nne mstari wake wa 13 mwanadamu ndiye ndio Awo mungu mwenye anyun kibitu ke. Oyo 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 mungu Tukimwamini kwamba Yesu Kristo aliweza kukufa na akavuvuka. Ni hivyo basi kwa wale ambao watakufa wakiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Yesu Kristo alikufa na akavuka. Wale ambao wako katika ndani ya Yesu Kristo watalala na watafufuliwa na watakao kufuliwa itakuwa na mna gani atalea kuzoma yesu kwa mungu ataweza kuleta pamoja nae endelea wale amungu mwawomi ee majiwata atukta ya kele ya ishe kibiso tosi ya kibiso tuno wa kibiso ahoy yundeta atukta ya kumma kwa hindi ndi wale niche kibiso tosi so zizi sota mbao tutakuwa hai kama tutakuwa hai kama Yesu Kristo atakuja kesho ama atakuja saa sita na na dakika hamsini unajua tuko na muda ambao tuko nayo mila ambayo tumefikia lakini the next minute ujui so Yesu Kristo alikuja in the next 20 minutes ama in the next 10 days ama in the next 10 years na watuku, watukuta tukiwa hai hata watangulia wale ambao walianza kufa katika Yesu Yesu Kristo atawafua watuunganishe nasi tutabadilishwa katika kufunga kufumba na kufungua na tutabadilishwa na tutamlaki Yesu Kristo pamoja na ndugu zetu ambao waliweza kumwamini Yesu Kristo na tutakuwa namna gani endelea kusoma fungu la 16 wale amujo ni yote ya inede tete tsembe baba tutumbe tu ehe ni zamani ya yasu So, Yesu Kristo atateremuka. Wacha ataweza kusikia. Na wote ambao wako katika makaburi watasikia sauti hiyo, watavuliwa. Na watakao vuliwa itafanyika namna gani? Fungu ka 17. Wale, eh eh, yaje ambao tuko hai, ambao bali tumetaki tutaingiliwa pamoja nao katika mawinguni na tutakutana pamoja na Yesu na tutakaa pamoja naye milele so Yesu Kristo atakuja kuna siku ambayo atakuja na akikuja atatupata tukiwa tunamgojea yeye ikiwa tumelala ama tukiwa baada tuko hai. So atatupata katika moja ya hai ya mawili. So kama atatupata tukiwa bado hai, atatubadilisha. Lakini kama atatupata tukiwa tumeingia katika makumbini, atatuvua. Na akituvua, tutaishi na yeye milele. Tutakaa na yeye milele. So wapendwa, tujue jambo hili. Na Yesu Kristo aliweza kutuandalia makao, aliweza kutuandalia sehemu ya pili ya kupata nafasi ya kuishi milele so wewe mpendwa ulia hapa ujiandae ili Yesu Kristo atakapofika tarumbeta uwe kati ya wale ambao wataurithi ufalme wa mbinguni kwa maana 
wao ambao wataurithi ufalme wa mbinguni wataishi maisha ya milele ambao hatutakuwa na shida hatutakuwa na taabu hatutakuwa na magonjwa hakutakuwa na kilio na maombelezo na yote ya dunia hii ya taisha so mpendwa tuweze kupata nafasi ya kipekee ili tuweze kujumuika pamoja na ndugu zetu ambao wamejiandaa kumpokea Yesu Kristo mara ya pili so napaenda kutamatisha na wao familia waweze kuja hapa mbele ili tuweze kwamba pamoja niweze kuwaweka katika mkono wa Mungu ili waweze kuwafariji maana tukiwa hapa tutasema kwamba tutakuwa pamoja katika maombolezo tutakuwa pamoja katika matendo lakini leo hii leo mgeni wa kwanza ataondoka hapa saa tisa mgeni wa kwanza ataondoka saa tisa wa mwisho mwingine ataondoka saa tatu usiku lakini kesho mutabaki familia peke yenu peke yenu mutabaki peke yenu hapa kwa sababu siku zimekuwa mingi basi zimekuwa mingi lakini tutawakikishia kwamba mimi nawakishia kwamba mtamuona mtu ambaye atakuja moja moja tu lakini baada ya mwezi mmoja kila mtu atakuwa na shughuli yake lakini Yesu Kristo atakaa pamoja nanyi milele so nataka mkuja hapa mbele ili tuweze kuwaweka katika mkono wa Mungu Okay tuna naomba uweze kuchukua nafasi ya kwanza uweze kuweka jamii hii mkononi mwa Mungu ili Mungu aweze kuwafariki aweze kukaa pamoja nao awalinde ili nafasi ambayo David amewaacha Mungu aweze kujasa tengo hilo so ngoje sifara aweze kufika eh Et <laughs> Okay, so kama amejeria watapata nafasi yao. So naomba Elda John awezi kuomba. Hebu na tuombe. Baba yetu aishi tu mbinguni. Tunakutishia wewe shukrani ya pekee kwa wakati njema ambao umetuwezesha kuwa katika nyumba hii. Na tunapoaga ndugu yetu David tunatoa shukrani kwa nafasi ambayo ulimpa ili awezi kuwa na familia hii tunatoa shukrani papa kwa sababu ya ulinzi wake katika maisha yake na wakati huu tunapo aka e, tunaweka mikononi mwako familia hii tunajua mama aa, wa David tunajua manduku zake dada zake na hasa familia yake akiongozwa na Esther Papa, uweze kuwa pamoja nao. Uweze kuchenga familia hii. Uweze kukuza na uwe uweze kushika mikono yao ili wasione pengo na kipekee ambayo David amewaacha. Pale upatie nafasi ya kipekee waweze kukutukuza na kuona wewe katika wakati huu mgumu. Na saidi papa ututayarishe kama familia ili tutakaporejea tutakuwa tayari kukumlaki. Efu fanya mapenzi yako tangu sasa hati milele kwa sababu tumeweka katika jina tumeomba katika jina lake Yesu 
aliye mwana na mkombozi wetu amen pamoja na hayo Mungu waje mbele zako na wimbo wa shukrani ni nafasi ya kipekee ambayo tunakabidhi jamii hii ikononi mwako uweze kuwaongoza wote uweze kuwafariji ili pengo ambalo David aliwacha uweze kuacha uweze kujaza kwa njia ya kipekee Mungu wetu unajua jamii yake mke wake pamoja na watoto wake uweze kuwaongoza kwa njia ya kipekee Mungu wetu ili baba uweze kuwa mfariji wa kipekee uwaongoze na uwalinde hebu chochote ambacho watahitaji kulingana na wapenzi yako uweze kuatimizia mama yake David Sibora na mkabidi mkononi mwako ili uweze kumwongoza ili mungu wake uweze kumsidishia ili akae kushauri watoto wake aweze kuwaongoza wote waweze kujua jina lako kuna ndugu zake pamoja na watoto wao naomba uweze kuwaongoza hata nao uweze kuwafariji uweze kuwaongoza Mungu wetu wapate kukutambua waweze kutegemea hasa wakati muhimu humu katika maisha yao hebu walinde na saidi hayo Mungu wetu waweze kuwa na upendo na umoja kupitia kwa jina lako hebu mapenzi yako yatendeke sasa na hata milele kwa maana tumeomba katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mwombezi wetu asifiwe tena amen Salamiane kwa hewa bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bas naamini familia utanisamea kidogo nimefuja program kwa sababu ku hata kuna mahali nakimbia na wageni kutoka Nairobi na kuna mkutano kidogo so nimeomba na mtani uia radi. Kwanza kabisa nimejiunga nanyi siku ya leo kutoa pole zangu ya familia yangu na wodi kwa ujumla pamjane na watoto wako mama Sibora na familia yako wote kabse git kwa ujumla area hii yote kwa makanisa kwa wageni wetu walio hapa walio wa karibu na wambali poleni sana tumepoteza rafiki yetu kijana wa area hii watoto wake wamepoteza baba yake mama amepoteza e, mume wake mama amepoteza mtoto wake poleni sana David tulimjua na wengi wetu hapa mnajua yeye ni mpole mtu mtulifu team player kwa village na kwa safari yake imefika hapa tunasema pole Kenye tutasema ni kwamba tunawaombea tuna familia wote tunawaombea vile mhubiri amesema tunawaombea mukae na mtegemee Mungu mjane na familia mshikane pasta ananimesikia hivi karibuni tutakuja kufanya eh, program ya kuchenga kanisa hapa amen na niko tayari tuunga, sisi zote tuungane because tunataka area yetu hapa zote ibadilike familia ibadilike na zaidi ya yote ni sisi tuwe ready Yesu atakaporudi mara ya pili tuwe tayari eh marehemu alikuwa na marafiki wengi tumeona marafiki kutoka relatives kutoka belgu familia ya NAC kiongozwa na rafiki yetu nge na wengine na marafiki kutoka mbali na area hii yote asante kwa kuja tumsindikize ndugu wetu hivi kama bila anito kongo enje akecha mubarikiwe asante sana mama mtana kibindi watoto wa david watoto na jela ndio sauti Jadi, I hope I love 
pulang, ngomong Tak tunggu, nak cepet Marah kiki, wak David, wak nak cici Awas salimu, nini wote, nak mencamu Mencamu tena What is good? And all the time? Asante sana Wak matina, nak ikut acal Tere David Kiri Wangu Ni Pat Kasim Lagini Zahidi ya Hayo Nimi Tulika Kama Marafiki David alikuwa Rafiki Wangu Zahidi Kulika waka The Brotherhood So tumeusunika Kama familia Wakumpoteza David Tumashukuru wanakichichi Tumetuongelesha Kanisa pia Na washukuru sana Umekaa karibu na familia Umewafariji familia Tangu Kifo cha David Kilipo fanyika Karibu wiki na sasa Tuna washukuru pia Wambolezaji wote Ambao wameweza kufika hapa Na Mchisikia mko nyumbani Uangasie tu protocols ya serikali hakikisha mahali uko umefaa barakoa yako vizuri naona watu wengine wanaweka huko chini it's for your own good jaribu kufaa barakoa yako vizuri so bila kupoteza wakati tutaenda pande ya introduction ya family members na family mukiitwa tujaribu kuokoa masaa kwa sababu Tumepewa muda mrefu sana, muda mfupi, I mean Unajua vila serikali inataka hilo Maagiza ya serikali inafaa tuwe watu miya moja kwa hii shere Na mukiangalia, tumezidi So tujaribu kutumia muda mfupi Iweza kanavi So napatia fursa hii, so self bet Aweza kuintroduce family members Wara karaka, karibu Wapi, wapi, sanitize Na nimekawa family hii mwana ine Kwa hivyo ni family kubwa lakini hiko mara ine Eje kwa hivyo 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 Ata ini juga bangun kau tu kan? Kau belum bija lagi tu? Eh, saya saya ini kau tu macam mana? Nama saya itu, kau beli kau beli. Ayah, nani ni kau pale? Esther, Uja, Ka. Mana mana Esther nawa tu tak ke? Uja Ka. Mana mana kau ke tuan? Nawa tu tak ke? Uja Ka. Aya, gunona an nagat. Aya, asal deh ni sana. Mina, mina pun dah sana. Kau apa? Kau jauh seberukut. Kau jauh bune. Kau jauh seberukut. An sabarle. Eh, kau Daniel. Aya, nanya mekata. Kau jauh seberukut apa? Berukut mukate. Daniel berukut mukate. Kau dia orang nombor berapa? Kau sah jin nombor berapa? Pijam aja. Kira? Mana? Okey lah, bawa. Kau nak buat? Ah, jangan sungguh tak sungguh? Kau sungguh tak sungguh? Kau nak 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 sungguh? Oh, ane ami. Ayah, apa? Apa utar foto? Oh, eh eh. Ayah, kerana ame nega mager. Mi. Ibrayo enda nawa siapa uko? 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 Ibrayo enda nawa siapa u
photo session hakuna kuongea mimi nataja juu jina hapo ya bonu na mnaondoka hapo ji ambi yetu gatirona ondoka yonde tusana fe watoto yao gule trubut watoto yao rita fe watoto yao tunakuja kuwa hata mimi pije haya bonu haya ondoka ndoa watoto yao yote mrs koeji jeni philip ehe ehe koeji wote haya ndoma gere winga la ah haju andi ndogora ngeno kutabenga ka chini andru gut terel ah no nyu oh eh eh tokta jepto aha namna hiyo namna hiyo asante sana ndona kurga na watu wao baba yangu huyu sababu ndugu ya baba yangu nje Musa ni ndugu ya Jamngara mwenyewe. Asante mami. Eh, ara magiri ko na ara Jamngara. Jamngara sana tani. Aya, aya na ona hapa. Na ona hapa. Eh, eh, eh. Na ona wa tere kabel. Mutai kabel, mutai ka. Asante. Kipindi kicho yenye kitafuta sasa ni maongeo. Na tumeombwa kipata nafasi tabadale tutumie hiyo muda umepata vizuri neno yenye tunasema hapa sisi wote kila mtu angepata nafasi ni neno la pole so we shall be represented by a few members as a family kwanza ningependa kuita mzee wetu baba Joseph Rugut mbaye Mungu amemsaidia pato ako nasi hapa. Huu mzee ni ndugu ya James Rugut. So nataka aseme machache. Amwa mnukia. Ende bikuri. Muita kabisa. Awale ni ya bigitikyo. Matoto ngeri vita ngeri je. Wange mite, wange ne kimula. Makimuta. Mami gine ye, wale tuni. Pia mbada se, nalego jata wara. Ndaki mga geri ya ne. Ine kwa mwa, amma jini wongo ila kwa mwa. Wongo yi babu wangu. Ni wabu wanga. Wongo esta. Kwa mwa wongo ila kwa mwa. Ni po hain, kwa yi upo jota ngoi jep jose. Eka asi, ni kia jepit. Tu tu wapa la jepit kupo lwa kuku. Iki ilge, ndi wende narobi, iri ya uga. Mari tarti ni mars, amia nyonga. Nga ni kere mpare anubu. Pina u. Owa tiara kane et. Kumi. Wongo ya babu. Babu wangu. Kwa kita acha logo junatia. Mato na mbaje cha. Wongo ya babisa. Mwabu ya nga lana kipo ya rubu. Kwa ufupi. Vila mse ya najaribu kusema. Anasema ni shukran. Kwa familia. Amekuza kila mtu kuzwa na hii jambo anasema tutulieni ameshukuru mchane Esther kwa kuleta watoto wake ambaye wanaita mzee babu na anasema ya kwamba karibu nyumbani na watoto ni waiboma kasi yenye iko hapa uendeleze tuko na shamba mnajua huku ni area ya kupanda chai sana so vile mzee amesema David the Let alikuwa mkulima ukiangalia hapo juu kuna chai mingi muangalie pande hii iko maendeleo kadhaa ilikuwa inaendelea hapa iko maneno ya ngombe na kadhalika so amesema kwa ufupi Esther usimalize miezi tatu wewe umekimbia kushikilia mkono mahali David ameachia na pia watoto wawe muwe munafika nyumbani kila mara kwa mara asante these are the parents eh? the mothers to the late david tunataka tuwapatie nafasi waombolese mtoto yao mami gina muwe ya david ane ni muwe ya david muwe ya david Ela pengen ngomong, boleh kan bisa?
Kupi mama lakini kwamba ametuambia ni kwamba pole pole kwa clan nzima ya tafsiri na tunakuambia mama pia pole tunajua uchungu wa kupoteza mtoto pole pole sana David, Mama na sema pole pole kwa jamii pole kwa watoto pole na nisimkiza David alale salamu So nikitoka kwa wasasi amache chia genge enkabe mkunyari yu ako nyochi ndara moya genge anga na lagi jang lagi ni mpati mtumoji Bio bio, ci nega jap jap itu sebab itu. Ramu ya. Ina sebab pola sana. Kau pamer daya buat. Kau ni apa yang awak tua si kau itu ina telkut. Nama aku jap apa kulit ramu ramu sah. Sebab aku kau fata nafas. Ile kita lu kau nata aku sebab aku kau. Esta. Kau biasa. Asyik aku kutu kari bisha apa nyumban. Jadi itu nak kau jap aku kari bisha aku. Na hapa ni nyumbani. Nimepata rapoti kwamba watoto walipo wao poleni sana mama. Poleni sana mama. Niliposikia David na tena ameaga dunia na juzi eh, before another uh, four months ago tulikuwa tumepoteza tena ndugu yetu Richard huko nyumbani. Tena nilikuwa na roho yangu ilikuwa sasa naanza kudidimia kwenda chini sana kufikiria hiyo mambo. Sasa mimi nasema poleni sana wa sababu ya masaa pole sana. Nyinyi kaeni tumekaribisha nyinyi next time utakuwa unatukaribisha sio sisi kukaribisha nyinyi na hapa ni nyumba ni nyumbani wewe kuja hapa na wengi 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 si, si, kwenye huko hata kama ni kisi unakaa kufika siku moja wewe utaletwa na sanduku kama hii eh si utaletwa uwezi siku au siku mahali utawaambia kwambe kwambe kwani kwa, kwa, wewe ulizaliwa uliolewa wapi lakini ni hapa 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 hatutaki kwenda kama watu wengine huko Nyanza so don't go far at least once in a while move up so come on in the i'm never know you learn with your body Pole <laughs> ila tu juzi hii maneno ilipotokea siku siku yesa kuja tulikuwa na mambo kama haya yenye ilifanyika huko transparent so ikawa ngumu kuja hapa kwangu lakini nasema mambo ya pole pole ni sana watoto wa david dunia ni kutulia ile inapaki kwa sisi zote ni kuishikana mkono na ku, ku, kuomba mungu atusaidie Apu, atupatie akili na nguvu ya kufanyia watu wengine kazi So naamini ka Esther na kuomba tu ufanye ile inaitwa time management. Upange namna ya kuendeleza shughuli hapa na pia upate namna ya kuendeleza shughuli ya kutafuta riziki kwingineko. Hata wasi nakutakia mema 
watoto wetu mnakaribishwa nyumbani wakati mwingi kama inawasika Mungu akitubatia namna mkaribie huyu mama mzee ili naye pia asikie kwamba mmekuwa na ya, ya, na nyinyi na furahie msaidie wakati nafasi wakati wa shida na kuendelea pamoja hata wasina mengi kuendelea sasa nitaenda sasa wale watawakilisha the brothers na sisters kwa David ama John Bed kwenye roi Amarta Pakiruni mwa bwana Awa sikit kecil mana, mana boleh ni? Ibu wajib buat tawir, kutengok, boleh. Pas pasib. John Bed, nata kau wakili saja brada, eh? Brada, sama. Anta cukup tu, nafas ini yang the direct. Nisyukur mungu, kuah, kuah nazi. Nisyukur mungu. Kwa file ametutendea mema tangu wakati huyu ndugu wetu aliaga tumekuwa hapa nyumbani. Ah pili nataka niseme pole yangu inaenda kwa familia wa Esther kutoka ukambani pole yangu ndio ninasema kwamba pole kwa kupoteza ango wenu eh, ni chungu si kitu nafurahia ninasema pole pole yangu tena inaenda kwa familia wa James nasema pole Mutia mama kapche miskwa chumula ak karab tonu entugul akab segit kabisa kwa tugul amun tebit kogi la kwet ne ayep ki la kwet ne gi mie ki la kwet ne gi bye bye enu tugul olegao amwa le pole kabisa mutia kabisa mutia mutia mu kogi botesa ni man eh tukye nyo enoret ne noton ko kiago imagine eh mnyonto ne gotinye kon mesi eh natan seme kwamba nimesema eh yu pole inaenda kwa marafiki wa david marafiki friends the friends of david wale wako hapa nasema pole kebobinda and amwa leo pole Chukyo mungu tubul, baule juu ya David, amuwa walio pole. Tili anuti, chemi kwenunyo, relatives, all relatives, na sema pole, pole, pole. Ah, mungu anajua, wakati tulisikia kutoka kitabu cha Genesis, vile mungu aliumba na nilikuwa mzuri na kaona it is something good so i am saying esther to mesikia and still pad wangali we are to see from where we are now is of a kind that you join in and from where our brother has left you come in now as the widow as the father But in all, you have the husband, Jesus. Jesus is great and wonderful for you. So, I think, Uta, Pahale Dugwetu alikuwa amefika, Uendeleshe kazi. Endeleshe kazi yako, Na, What you are to get there, Is to get an increase, In what you are supposed to be doing. Welcome, my daughters. We have seen Amoja. Napal to message what we have received. Keep it. Live with love with other families. Join up with all the fam. Kabsegit family. Karatano. 
Let them know you. Let them be with you wherever we are. We are wishing you best of the best life in your educational academic system. Thank you for that. Familia <laughs> Mutia no family, no Arabta, no family, no young to go. Come Mutia Mutia Abisa, who uncle Tom go know it, come go me go young and let you with you. Go Amoy Mutia, our denen, Kesava Mutta in it. A gotoga loiki, who remet and family. Cotono Joe and Nyan, our good nature met. Cogon nature met. Cogon nature met. Cogon nature met. Cogon nature met. In Tom immediate Natalie, Novara said a bit. Kogonega said a bit. In the name of Jesus. I lay no more going. I got more mutia. Poor Lester, now I told work. Mutia Missy, Mutia. Tam and onion, Queen Cayu. On your two joining you, but I'm going by right at Titus. Tam got in your boy boy yet. Kiginye tu kjo dinyo ni, yenta amir miya neti lele, na bari dene tapke. Koma angena yingu ni ole, wani wendi ngo, agoger na fasi nuko tu kjo. Tam goti nyeri dene tapke, ngewaka, koka gwanga, keti nye boy boy yet amu ne ne ne. Ti nyeri dene tapke, chame gasa ti nye chob nye ti, ago aye, tam ka aye tebi. Chitani aye ko aye and family ni yon. Dad James, so I'm going to be missing David, Paul Sun. In going to rest in peace. I'm describe to let David talikuwa mtu mukarimu. Aki toka kuake afika apa njumbani. Ile mtu ange share ama kumkimbili ata akiwa na shida. Ilikuwa David. Kili kili ochake. Ilikuwa kuamba si chui sasa. Kiki andelea mbel, akifika apa ni nani atakuwa na askia maligio yake. So dada yetu tuna kuambia, tuko wengi. Hata umoja kikosa kukusikia, kimbilia mungini. Hameomba pia Esther, hawe karibu na mama. Mumesikia vila hamesema umuli yake sahi, yeye akona miaka sabini. Ani mtoto ya uyu mama. Na ye mwenyewe na 70 years atake stress. Sasa itakuwaje uyu mama kariku mnyaka mnyamoja. Lazima tupatia utulimu kwa roo yake. Na tumukaribie saidi. Na wachukutia mkue kariku na nyanya yenu. Iyo ndiyo maumi ya mari. Asante. Kagubana kejengi. Hule ndemi. Pole kabe sa kini ang wevin David tuman eh ako pole pole kabe sa hmm kamo ka tuko kamo ka ako eh alin mo tni mo John alin ang gitu pole ndu John ayon pole kabe sa pole tayo pole tu Dios si Janju aga mati si Janju Oh, poor little Abbas, I am dead. Poor little, poor little Abbas, I give me another name with you. Oh, I pay two Timo Jagane. So we will go get someone that you go to the little Jesu. Then I'll cook up on the poly. So to Kiendele and a program, I'm almost winding up with the issues of your family. Alain giving dinner to who? Awendi konyit ni coba kai, amace ni sanik, dikirimu lah coba kai. 
grave que toi. Non, je ne sais pas si tu es un peu plus de temps. Tu es un peu plus de temps. Tu es un peu plus de temps. Tu es un peu plus Wambu wa ya kulipa kitui Eche ektukul wa pike kabuwa na pole Kabuwa na jota mutio Enyo iteni, ako chorguwe nyongora Nyo iteni kikune ilakwet, ako chorguwe nyong Kungu non, makiti nyanga lewa na kumuwa kilele kitio pole Aki sama nguwa na jine kibare esta Esther Kirui, please, for heaven's sake, we are requesting you be close to the family. The family loves you, and why am I saying so? I'm the one who came to Kitui with your father, the late James Rugu. We negotiated for dowry. We made arrangement for marriage in the house of John Mutinda, which me We did a very precious and very classic wedding for you and David. This is a situation, Esther, that you are seeing home here. My Bulgaria, the mother of David, is very old. Just the way your mom is also very old. And I know you have the power, the capacity to handle those old people. I know you have a very beautiful home in Nairobi. But as well, rural home is also good. Can you try to love rural home, please, for heaven's sake, Esther. For the daughters of David, which you used to have the nickname with your dad, Tenderek you. I know you know that word. Even when we used to stay together, David used to say, get Tenderek you. And you are really the sibling of David. Tendere. Tendere gab David. Gab so mo hud. Agne bingin. Please love your grandmother. Love your grandmother. Please. For heaven's sake. Love the two grandmothers that you have. From Kitui. And here. They shall be. Let's balance your time. This is your home where you are married to. That is your home where you are born. And here is where you belong. She belongs to me. She's at my home. And therefore, you belong here. You don't belong to me too. That is, with all sincerity, I love, we love you as the person who was from day one from day one of your negotiation for you to be here. I know each and everything. Even when we were planning for your marriage and we proposed Holy Trinity in Kericho, some senior personnel and senior dignitaries, including the late President Moon, was to attend. But unfortunately, something happened. She never attended. And that is why we fixed that child to be your marriage church, Holy Trinity in Gericho. In Kitui, you took us well. Your family gave us a very good cordial reception. Right from the time in Lovington, in the house of John Butinda. So, Esther, the family member of Kapchi Misarabrugu, be here frequently. I know 
you are a very busy lady, you have got a home in Nairobi, but maybe also a rural home. The rural home is, people say home is best. Your husband and you, you used to say Nairobi. We know you are a very good house, you have a very good house, but here we are. The rest of the point is home. Even you, if every, even everybody, please, for heaven's sake, Esther, you know me very well. We love you. The family loves you. Kap Segitul loves you. Everybody loves you. More so when we are celebrating, when you get back to three triplex. Unajua tulikula mbusi. Kapisa. Strong lady. More than these other women around here. Three kids at a go. <laughs> are still there. In fact, even these mothers, they don't know those children. I wish they come here to be seen. These are the duplicate photocopy of David. <laughs> duplicate and photocopy. So, let me not take my gesture. You have been requested to be very close to home. It's stolen because of sickness. But I wonder, you are not sick. Come and put it up. Come and put it up. The daughters of this place, including my wife, they are praising their brother, David. Can that thing continue? Come and put up a magnificent house, just like that one in Nairobi. Put up this one. I know the plan right from the beginning, how you are planning. I don't know what, what went this so wrong somewhere. Please, correct it and take yes. off. Thank you very much. Wambolesaji wote walio fika siku ya leo Mare wa jane wa marehemu Watoto wa marehemu Mama Na wanakichichi Kitu tunasema ni pole kwa devi Hii ni siku yake ya mngisho Na although pastor alisema sio mpango wa mungu Lakini nataka kusema kila mtu wako na siku yake Kila kitu iko na siku yake There is time to, to be born There is also time to leave this world So nataka tu kusema David was a friend More than even a relative he is my in-law, lakini tulikana e. Kwanza tulichelewa kuenda shule. Tulianza na e class moja. In 1974. Ukitawa 1974 from 1966-65. Utaona ni miaka karipo tisa. So we went to school when we were late. Nine years. Lakini it was because of the challenges. Kina Joel walikuwa wameenda shuleni na mimi nikakaa na David kwangu ni ngambo hiyo so tulikuwa tumeambiwa tuchunge wanyama wa pori yenye mahindi ilipopandwa hapa walikuwa wakitusumbua sana so wasasi walisema huyu akae pande hii na mimi nikakaa ngambo hiyo so we used to Ata lunch ya tukukula Lakini tulikula maini Because there was no difference between the monkeys And those other animals from Sisi wenye tulikula maini Lakini tulichunga maini tukaenda Padae Tukasoma na e Tukatairiwa na e kwetu nyumbani 1978 niko na even the hapa wa meingia kwa wengi, I think they will have time to be introduced. Na tukaenda, tukasoma, alipo kuwa Nairobi, alini host, ata esta anaitua iyo. Wakati walikuja nyumbani, tukapanda iyo chai. Every day, wakati alikuja hapa, tukasaidiana na e. Na... Minajua ni awa ni walikuwa watu wa bidi. There are so many things I learned from them. Paka na Esther. 
given time and uh, the peace of mind, uh, things will change. Sore kwa yale ya and nataka tu kusema, although David ameenda mbeleni, mbele yetu, hata nami nilikuwa na kasi kama hii, lakini hao walinisaidia sana. Plus their relatives, Mutinda, Josephine, sijui kama Josephine ameingia. Oh, Josephine. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. They hosted us when we had, uh, my wife was sick at that time. Walini saidia sana. So I know, sijui ni kitukani, but I know they will pick up and even their children. Nimeona hawa. Wamekua wakugwa. So, mwenyesi mungu atawa saidia. Tutaendelea kusaidiana, mimi ni kuwapa nyumbani. Kama kuna chambo, tulikuwa na David last, I think when Charles came, and I realized one thing, kuna marafiki, lakini wengine marafiki wengi wanatoroka. Ukipotesa kasi, wanatoroka. Ukikonjeka, wanatoroka. But I stood with David. When he was bedridden, alikuwa hapa. Na every Sunday there was a, a force. Huko nyumbani alikuwa inaniambia enda kana David. Tuliongea mingi. And uh, I know that David was a hard working man. So thank you so much. Although David has left us, I know physically he has left, but uh, my memories will remain in my heart. <laughs> Mama cha mama cha cha, uam pichon kau ngalal tu ke bagas kita. Kau ke mugi negi ber panggil dia setan, nongge onda setan ni lah. Oh ni ulu ini lah. Asan tesan. So kama kuru kau nasi setan ni apa kat kat si kata untuk kalau. Ni kira tak Malaysia, pandai familia. Kamu cakap itu betul dia bawa mungkin cakap jam kuri betul betul ni, ni ni betul betul senang. Mama tu na wef, na juu ni juu ni, David. Kongo ya kabisa, na yuko nchini. Amaje ni kuna leo. Okay. Entah amanah kata tu dengan entah tu kalau canggih, canggih kamu sih. Canggih ni sih. Oh, dia nak go poli, lain poli, rasul, poli yang parti yang akhir tu, poli yang kau segi. Mungkin dia nak lihat, mungkin kalau buat nanti dia nak lihat apa poli, poli. Eh, dah dulu ni nak nak lain poli apa sah, poli. Mari kita bawa kerja orang lepas ni kan? Ang nasi dia kau kerja ni bawa kerja entah macam apa. Ikan ni bawa kerja entah macam apa. Beli ya. Entah bawa kerja ni bawa kerja. Alen muncak bising. Kata ipol lagi bawa kerja ni. Kita nak mirip macam apa? Bawa kerja. Kita kita kat tarat the side ni bawa family. So nyonya orang kat kat kau mahu TV kat lagi. Bawa mangau lagi aku akili cina di kira ngalah. I want to give special thanks to some young men here. As most of you are aware, David amegukua kwa muda mrefu sana. Nikirudi hapo nyuma kwa David, I think I'm about to see me as the man. Agogibu renga yu kwa wakati mrefu Soko na vijana walisaidia David kwa karibu sana walika na e kwa karibu sana na wapo muaja David mpaka siku yake amadagika yake ya mwisho nike penda tu wa shukuru kama wa familia maje Brian Dennis Apol kwa wapi agomii driver Nanti baru kau sila. 
Wesley ni mtu akuchoka akitembeza David kwa kila hospitali. Ningemuita usiku atakuwa tunamlipa sana lakini mami bintu mawendi. Wesley tulitembea hata kuna wakati damu ilikuwa inatakikana kwa darura tukachiangalia wengine wakatoa kama familia wale tulikuwa hapo tukaposa find moja ile mtu alichitolea kutusaidia ni huyu Wesley ambaye alikuwa driver wa David so tunamshukuru sana Sisi kama familia hatuna kitu ya kukupatia hivyo sana lakini Mungu akuongoze ukae na hiyo roho kaa karibu na hii familia na Mungu akusaidie so kwa hapo vijana mtu wewe ni gatete last one man before David Abariki Togi ya wa Ibrahim and he was unable to work Personally I was here less than a week before he passed on we talk at length I think I'll say that later on Lakini wale watu walikuwa wanatoa David ndani kwa sababu angetembea ni habi jana Hawakuchoka tuliwanyima the social life ile ya vijana jioni wameenda wanatembea na wenzao but these guys we really owe them they dedicated their time to take care of their young so tunawashukuru amache for more maybe you have a something small to say about your uncle tata nam ya kola for my dad dad Mm -hmm. Paul First I want to thank God for having stood with us up to this far Much has been said about our late father David Kirui He was humble and respected everyone whom we met especially in various hospitals I want to thank my brothers whom every time Wherever David was, they made sure that he was with at least one of them, if not all of them, especially in various hospitals. I also thank David's driver, Wes Mutai, who became our brother during our hard times. He could wake up as early as 4 a.m. to make sure David gets to hospital on time. Also, I would like to thank Mom Esther, because every time we were in hospital, she made sure that the hospital bill was facilitated on time and also called every time asking how David Health was doing. I will not forget to thank Dr. Javed Terrer, who made sure that we always had a good stay in this room. The last day was on 17 August, where we took David to Akakan Hospital. I remember this, he just told the doctor that he's there. Don't admit me for so long. We did not know that it was his last day. Rest in peace, Captain. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going that there was food on time, who was not feeling well. She did something 10 o'clock. Tea, she made sure she eat something maybe by 4 o'clock or even supper. Tuna kushukuru sana, Lina. Asante sana. Yes, I said you. The boy, I'm a child, Paul, it's a baby. Paul, I'm a baby. Paul, I'm a baby. 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 Kau lain je tu bukan apa sahaja. Ia makin hitam itu yang ni aje. Lagi ni yang saya ni nampak sama ni. Yang kita lagi hitam itu yang mana dah nak gigas? Kita lagi, kisah. 
Mamma, あ、レギミトは。ハクトチョシャガテベポレネサナ。ロガテベポレポレスタ。ポレ。キソジニテベポエレミ。アギギルゲ。ヘンガリアタチョバゴトレテチョバ。ストンゲトユンギプセンゴ
Yeah, pia kau kopa agai tu tak tahu. Kau ing kau kor bata kita ada tu tuh karam wall almost six six. Ma daktari kama sita wakakimbi hapo mahali David alikuwa Kwa mwe kwa tawarte ya nipotu wa maemu uka Wakajaribu kumsaidia lakini ni kama hiku ya sekana Alenga kumumu Baka hapo hiyo ndiyo angependa kusema tu Kwa David amemuambia alala salamu Pole sana Brian Kupenda pia kurudia shia ee shukrani ya Wabi chape tere Hali akikisha ya kuamba Familia Haa vijana wamepata mahali ya kumalala Kuchukua fursa hii Kwa niyaba ya familia angu Kwa niyaba ya familia yetu Ya robot Kusema pole sano Kwa kupoteza ndumi yetu David Kwa kusema kweli Tangu David hawe mgonjwa na letuwe kisumu kumashinda tukiwa nae. Abijana at least when David was still strong, these boys, yes when David was still strong, these boys nige chukua. That is what we did for probably around five years. Mpaka juzi, Abijana wakanipigia, kanyambia David, tumeleta tena kisumu. Where are you? Kamambia, mi siko kisumu, but still I can assist you. I have friends in kisumu. Kanyambia, ni sawa, waja kwanza, waja tuwende tufanya admission, alafu we will tell you the next thing. Because David again, recently, hanga weza kutambia peke yake. So kijana mwenye alikuwa mefuwa kipande, kambiwa, kwewe, hautaenda, hautaenda mbali. So you will just be staying with him. Also, if you will to leave, mwangia badaya, ya kanyambia, David ya mafanyo admission, na sasa ni mwambiwa, sitaenda hapa. Sabini ni kaya hapa, Sajie nani? Sajie David. All in all, Badai around the same day. That was on Tuesday. Then, Wednesday morning, around Sasaba ya usiku. Our boy called Deno. The Dennis Deno. Kanipiga Sasaba ya usiku wa kanyata. Where are you there? Kamambia, siku around. Milienda Sajie na Ibasha. Sampe what is wrong? Munipiga Sasaba. Kanyambia, David is no more. Mwambia, ok, pole pole, nani, na kijana mwenye alikuwa na jume David, ako wapi? So the boy was so confused, anataka kutoka, and you know, the issue of coffee hours. Yes, in Kisumu, the coffee hours is real. So I had to advise the caretaker, just to stay within the hospital, because Kisumu, when it comes to issues of coffee, it means a lot. So, kipatikana kwa barabara, probably, All in all, we are saying Paul. Why? What to do it? What to do it? What David? She made it. Say my karibuni jumbani. My pensi ya nyuliona kwa kwa watu na kwa wanao. It's probably around six years. Wakati wana mtanda ya kwa wanao ana hakaka hospital. Yes. By then. Uh, David had uh, diabetic food. Diabetic food, right? Upenyo na kanyagia. Ilikuwa imechongwa. So the whole part of it, ilikuwa kidona. So those children were confused by Bayao. So by then David was kind of limpy. Those triplets at the bed, wale brukia by Bayao, nikaona, what? Even the doctors were like, ah, ah, can you come this way? Chafat, can you come this way? Oh, no, no. Maybe this, these are the children of who? Then. No, no. I'm a poor baby. I'm going to be a no. It's just because of the disease. When I was in the house, 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 I was in the house,
dan baba kwa api na kwa nyumbani then it is also because of what of the love the children had for for their father watoto wetu hiyo upendo iendelee hiyo upendo iendelee pendeni mama yani yenu ndio ile karibuni nyumbani hapa any time feel most welcome at home right kufikia hapo nataka tuniseme pole sana david rest in for the organization that chemeje to amashinda kufanya kazi nnc as a family we really want to thank you we really want to thank you and as you go back david i was just explaining the budget that we used probably last year and this year it will cost around roughly 15 million and the 15 million was being paid by who by the national house corporation through who through some agency right we really want to thank you we really want to thank you we are, we are just feeling your suffering thank you so much who is david David, akachukua ndege kutoka Mandera mpaka Wilson akaitoka akafika nyumbani bila aliagizwa na David kinyo aloge mtendo wake alikuwa apelekwa tena hospital kamian David kama atama tena kama silwa akikawa mwindi kamsidi aka keuka wakaenda Silong kuingia Silong akifika Silong kwa admitted for 11 days akawa admitted for 11 days Aye, referral na kwa bana ta hospital for 12 days. Aka pelekwa facility ingine pia for another 12 days. Voya ta wi marais. Na iko rais ibo. Ko kinge tuna. Wa kitaka huko. Kalenja andika hii. Mama te na ale na ngane mama te. Wakambiana David siwezi kukuaja yeye pia akamwaidi David aise mwaja. Kiki bure ni hapa. Kana betu ni kiki discharge ni. Wakawa discharge. Kinyo alwa weka si alikuwa arudi kazi David akaniambia matiwe akamwambia akae na yeye asiende kazi nikaomba wiki moja akaomba rusa kwa matajiri wake wiki moja nikafunza wiki jana Brian my brother Brian Unza Brian how to handle David because handling ya David because of his condition was special so it required mtu mwenye anaelewa kinywa ruge ru David asikuya ila ngani alikuwa lazima adungwe kila asubuhi na jioni Oh yeah, Brian does, you know. Na Brian alifanya hiyo kazi yote. Brian ni yeye kila kitu na ba daktari, mimi bi ni kishinda Brian. Brian sio daktari, lakini alikuwa anahudumia David kama daktari yote. So, Kwa sababu yeye yeah, ambaye ni daktari alimfunza Brian. So we can give away all my brothers. Yanarudishia asante brothers wake wote. Mama mimi betu ni kitu ya kile mkitare David. Hawakuchoka ama kuzinsia kumsaidia David Lenny <laughs> Mr. Ndadangu, tuseme David Kirui ameoa Ndadangu. Mimi ndio mkubwa wa bibi ya Kirui. Kwa hiyo Kirui, Kirui nilikuwa namjua vizuri sana. Kwa tunajuana, ongea mambo mengi. Kulingana na vile nimesikia mmeongea, mmeongea maneno mengi sana. Mazuri na ya kuu ya kujenga. Nikitaka kuingilia hiyo sana. Kwa hiyo mimi naweza kusema Kirui ni shemeki yangu lakini alikuwa rafiki yangu mkubwa sana. 
Koje bi mi mi načeo na na razkijavu? Sina mengine kaza kodine. Kwa majina na hitu anjoy luambua. Anjoy luambua mimi ni ni brother wa, wa Esther. Mimi njina kuata Esther. Na kirui wakati alio wa sister angu tu, tulikuwa marafiki na amekuwa mtu mzuri sana amekuwa tukiongea na ye na ni mtu mzuri ana madharau yote mtu alikuwa na to respect na alikuwa mtu mzuri so ile kitu tu naweza sema tu ile maneno mmesema hapa tumesikia na sisi tumekuja kutoka kitui ni mbali sana ikuja njana na tukafika sasa ile kitu iko nita wa introduce kwa hao watu yetu ndio mwajue huyo ni ni bibi ya kasimu yangu wana yake ni kasimu yangu lakini lei huyo anakuata kwa wapili ndio mama yetu anaitwa hana maya wabua na yeye ni anji yetu amezaliwa pamoja na mama yake haya watatu si ata mnamjua lakini ataongea atajidojusi huyo ndio kitinda mimba wetu ya mama yule huyo ndio alifunga kila kitu alikuwa mtu mwingine alitoka sasa ukienda <laughs> kunyu anaitwa Kiseli haya huyu msichana naye kwa hapa pia ni msichana huyu sister yangu ndogo anaitwa Lewa Hala, tukienda laini ya mwisho huko kuna kijana mwingine pia ni kasini yetu anaitwa Zomo na huyo ni mwingine pia na huyu mada na papa ni mbibi ya brother huyu na yule naye ni mtoto wa huyu brother yangu na huyu pia ni mtoto wa brother yangu sasa kile umetuona hivi sindio tu sandeni ameandikwa kizungu so anasema hivi Hi, ah ni Maya Wambua. David Kirui was my son in law. And I loved him very much. He also loved me like I was his own mother. I could not speak in Kiswahili or in English, but he used to explain to me everything in Kiswahili. And you I understand. I also explained to him using Kikamba till we reach the conclusion of our conversation. Since God loved him so much, let him rest in so his so in eternal peace. Amen. Kwa ufupi anasema, yeye ajui kuongea Kiswahili, ajui kuongea Kizungu. Kirui naye ajui Kikamba. Lakini walikuwa wanaongea na wanaeleana. Kirui anamwongelesha Kiswahili, mama anamwongelesha Kikamba. Lakini wanaeleana hata wakati mwingine walikuwa naongea nikuwa karibu nauliza kirui sasa mmeelewa vile amesema naongea kikama anasema eh si amesema hivi na hivi kama eh kweli so alikuwa amejua so ndio mama akasema wacha hata huyu ushahidi kwa mtoto wake asante ni Leonard na tumewakaribisha sana so interact with the program eh? the whole family nikipenda kuchukua fursa huu pia Nishukuru kila mtu ambaye ameweza kufika hapa. Nataka nishukuru mama wetu Sibora. Huyu Sibora mnamuona hapa. Koka sartani gimia David na goi. Mangan mama ni gonya David. Kinya David, kinyi shek, tesire tamanagi. Na ogeba tamanazo mutama na mutia. Kiza ungo ruja. Auku choka. We tried reaching on all the friends, the family members, because uh, David alikuwa me exhaust his medical cover. Na ilikuwa ngumu kwa sababu madana ya dialysis, alikuwa naenda twice a week, na kienda session moja ilikuwa inachukua kama 20,000. So we called on friends, and uh, mwile tusaidia, tunawashikuru sana. Esther, shemeji yangu, 
hatuwezi sahau kugurudishia asante kwa watu wengi kitu wa mjui David hata kuishi kutembea hizo hospitali zote tumeongelelea ni kwa sababu Esther alikuwa anafanya kazi Esther angeacha hiyo kazi David angeweza kwenda gagano so lazima turudishie nini asante ama namna gani so nikienda kumalizia koi na ah vijana musiende mbali na ile kazi mlikuwa mnaendelea kufanya vizuri esta akifika hapa nyumbani tujaribu kukaa kwa amani watu wengi wamenena that we are preaching for peace let there be peace in this family from now and for esta ameambiwa vizuri amekaribishwa hapa akuje aweke poma hata imesemekana kuna nini foundation imetengenezwa hapa iko mchoraji alichora hii nyumba ataongea kidogo so esta feel free bring your kids closer to the family mimi kitu naweza sema kwa ufupi na kwa roho yangu i came here about 5 days or 7 days before david pastor na nilikuja na huyu mama mama wangu mzazi tuliketi hapo nje kauliza david swali kadhaa swali ya kwanza ilikuwa juu ya watoto na kitu ningependa kusema ile david alichipu kwa mdomo yake aliniahikishia mbele ya mama akimwambia mama yeye kulingana na yeye kuna watoto waine The one who kept him for all his years. So that's when we say God has kept us with this one. And God will be with you as well. He will give you strength and help you. Yeah, it looks like the waves are not clear. But I'm going to be able to say my fear Asante sana. So tu wakati tuliuliza vile watoto wanaendelea David akatuhakikishia yeye kulingana na yeye watoto wake wako sawa. Hapo na watoto wainne. Wa kwanza anaitwa Jela, Memo, Adogo na Jebet. That is what David said that his family is intact contrary to what most of the members who are thinking family ya David iko intact na kulingana na David bila kuhakikishia ni kwamba watoto wake wanaendelea vizuri he even talked about one occasion where we had a fundraising i can praise the girls the way they raised some funds for him ndio aweze kupata hiyo medication ya dialysis baba yenu aliwashukuru sana alisema vizuri bila napenda watoto wake Esther when the mother asked akasema Esther pia anaendelea vizuri bibi yake yako sawa ni kazi imemsidia Nairobi lakini walikuwa nawasiliana kila asubuhi akiamka akilala so tunashukuru kwa hayo so sige get the program i want to give a chance to the immediate family that is Esther na watoto wake waje hapa mbele nataka mkuja hapa mbele tabadhali to having a small tribute you can do it through if you don't mind lakini yote tunasema ni pole poleni 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 sana mine is a small uh, tribute and it says dear daddy
My name is Grace Chapkire Kirui. I wrote a tribute to my dad, to my loving dad. Love leaves a memory no one can steal, but death leaves a memory no one can heal. <laughs> my dad passed away last week on Wednesday. It hurt most, most that we were supposed to come visit you on Friday, but God had other plans. I didn't know it would come so soon. I was hoping that I'd have at least said my goodbyes, but God's plan is always the best. I take comfort in knowing that my dad is no longer in pain, that suffering is no longer something he has to endure. A thousand words would bring you back. I know because I've tried, neither will a thousand tears. I know because I've cried. I don't know where, I don't know when, but I know we'll meet again. My dad, Mr. David Kirui, will forever be in my heart until the day it stops beating. Rest in peace, Dad. I love you. From your daughter, Kadogo. To my father, from my mom. My father, he was an amazing father to me and my siblings. I will always cherish all the wonderful memories. I know you're watching over all of us. You b brought us up to, to be disciplined, respectful, kind, loving, and generous women. We will all miss you terribly. I don't have much to say than if you will still be here. I will hug you so hard and never let go and tell you how much I love you. You are such a fighter. Rest now, Daddy. Hola, hola, son. Dear Daddy, I'm sad. I'm saddened that death took you away. But God said in all things we should give him thanks. I still cannot believe that you've left us. We will always remember and love you. You have left a big void in our lives and life will never be the same again. You will always be in our thoughts, prayers and in our hearts. We will never forget you and you always remain our daddy. You will always remain our dear daddy. Your death has left a scar in our hearts, but your legacy will still stand in our life, in our lives. We miss you, daddy. Safiri salama tutaonana badai. Tunakupenda. My dad was a star in my life. Although we had shot, but I'll always remember him. And uh, he always has a place in my heart. Each day, none can replace it. Dad, I want to assure you, I'll make you proud. Thank you. I'll, I'll make you proud and I'll end. <laughs> You're going to give us some. On behalf of all my sisters, this is what we wrote to our dad. It is sad to know that dad you have left us, but again, it is a loving memory for us when we think about your life and all that you did for us in the short time we spent together. The good memories remain with us forever because of the positive impact, love, discipline, and many other attributes that you installed in our lives. Your memory will not die in us, dad. You are in our hearts and forever in our spirits. We will always love you and miss you, Dad. May your heart rest easy, Dad. From your loving daughters, Shaila, Kadogo, Memo, and Toto. Thank you. The best. You will finish. Um, Dad, I'll make sure I take care of mom and miss. <laughs> I think the message is uh, gotten. She's saying she will take care of the mom and all our sisters. And may you rest in peace. I know I never love so much. Like Dick. It's okay. He's wishing the father to rest in peace. Seems really loving. My name is Josephine Siobata Wambua. I'm a sister to Esther. And uh, I'd written something small here for my brother.
today I stand before you all to thank God for giving us a great son, a man with the greatest and the most beautiful heart uh, for the period that he did. I today mourn the loss of my brother, but I also celebrate the most incredible and precious life. I choose not to ask God why. I don't want to, uh, to ask God any questions. Baba Chela opened the doors of his home with Esther, together with Esther, for me. They loved me and I and I got a father that I'd lost a long time ago. David, you loved me. You loved me as your own daughter. You treated me with fairness when I lived with you. You guided me through my education in the university. You gave me your finances. You gave me food. And most of all, you loved me. I will forever be grateful. Kwa wale tulish kwa Esther na David, hata mpaka wa leo ninashanga vile walika na sisi. David na Esther tulika watu wengi hapa sana. Kina Charles, kina Joseph, kina Anne. We were so many, at any given time, we were more than six visitors. Hata mpaka wa leo, mimi kwa nyumba wangu sijakawa na watu waina hiyo. David ulitupenda. Ulitupatia sisi sote na fasi. Ulitu, kama mimi na, na kumbuka siku ya nye nilikuwa na apply for loan. Uli, the way you guided me. Vile uliniandika ni iseme ni metoka ukambani. Na vile hata huko tunafanya kazi ya ku, 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 ya maka ya kuchoma makao wiki zilingo ndio tukuje kupata ndio tukuje nipate hiyo loan na mpaka nikapewa basari sababu ya maneno yenye uninigai mpaka nikapata siku zote nda nitaishi kukushukuru tulikuwa tunakuja huko national housing kwa sister yangu kwa david alikuwa mkubwa tulienda kuishi kwa tuliingia kwa ofisi yake tulifurahi Tulipenda kuenda kwa National Housing kukunye hiyo chai. Tukitoka college. Asande National Housing. Asande David. Lala Salama, my brother. I'll miss you dearly. But I will always see you in the four daughters. Who are... In your four beautiful daughters. Who, are, who, who you have left behind. And who are you are... Uh, just a photocopy of you. Tuseme kwa roho, wako na roho yako kabisa. Tukifika kwa hiyo nyumba hata mpaka leo, Esther na watoto wake wanatukaribisha. David ulitukaribisha kabisa. Tuna kushukuru. I'm so sad today that I never got the chance to come back and tell David thank you. Lakini msiku zote nitaishi kukuombea David. Asande sana kwa yote uliotufanya. Thank you. Please. I pray that you read it again. Amen. What they want to say, you may not understand the situation. And you may not have the business to understand. But David remained my husband. Esther, utataka kuwe kwa mimba na mwana ume mwingine, nita kuambia apana. Ndagi ite ven, gile tes, ngo, na mache, maya kwa manachi koke nye, koto che nge kwa David. Kwa sababu David mwenye ninajua, nga mwenye David nge nge nge, was the best man on earth. Kwa ki nende, kwa ki kere kwa nende, ne mure, ne, e ngwa lune, ne kimo kere aga. And in fact, ako, kama zio sijui siwezi hiyo siwezi sema na sijui ni nini yenye likuja 
Tumonge na gine kule tos na gine Musikia na huko ukambani alikuwa na niambia ni mutafutia mwana ume huku Gotaro tijoro no kigeno kambani gile jina gine genyo uruman Nije mwana gane chie lindo Kupati siku siku wesa Lakende mamu yiko nyo uriki yengo rano I'm not saying I was a good wife because it may be very difficult to define a good wife but let me tell you regardless of how many women David came across and by the way he came across many there was no woman that David loved like Esther. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> women who love David are my best friends. For different reasons. So she that you can You may not. Yeah, you may not understand. Don't make judgments. That is my request. But David has died as my husband. And I want to thank David's family. It's a loving family. It's a wonderful loving family. A warm family. And I'm speaking from my heart. And if you ask my sister, you ask my friends, they will tell you. I have a very special place for David's family. If you are not for this family, maybe I will not be remembering Kericho. But they have always been there. And I thank you so much. Nakushukuru sana. Anashukuru. So many of them, William. William. I lived with you. You give my job place. Kogi in koga manage na endel la bulu somo ge. Kogi William. That William would cook for me. Kwa William bungi kuongin. Would you believe? That David was washing my soft clothes. Toto ano le David tugi moti na 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 tengo rai. I thank. And I can tell you, I used to get confused. I was going through depression. But this girl here is very small sister. And there are many things we value in life. Human things we value in life. We may value money. We may value the many investments that we have. But you may not know me. My relationships are more important than the money that I, I may be having in the bank. Than the properties I may be having. That means nothing to me. I raised her in my house with David. <laughs> and, as she has said, when she was applying for her loan, I can tell you where I am. I can tell you where I am. I can you she loves David. Yes. And even David, when he got issues, you go to her and you do whatever he wanted. At one time, she told me. If only David, if only David just lost his job, if only David, all he lacked was money during his life, I would put him on the family. Unfortunately, for the countries, we may not understand. It was not good to give him money. You give him, you gave him money, you are destroying him. So, I want to thank the good family. Grace, you call me. Joseph, William, you have always been with me. 
You have always stood stood with her. I will always remember Andrew. I've got the Andrew. I'll sit with Andrew. Andrew, <laughs> 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 Lakini ena mune jema For reasons I also cannot explain Kwa mune jema mujot kwa mwana enda tenu So I want to thank everybody And it's not just this family All of you, I am member of you Ama jawa wiki jito kuli nangajia Kuna njei koske yugi wako Ana ni all the time Njei koske, my best friend Kuna jawa wiki jito kuli nangajia My best friend Yes, jai Because in life There are those who will understand you Vivi ike mwiti there are those who will not understand you. What can you do? I can't go into everybody's hearts. So what I am saying, if you... Esther may not have been a very good wife. If Esther was not a good wife, I'm asking mothers, I'm asking the fathers, take that opportunity and raise a better daughter, raise a better wife. But I did the best I knew how. My wish would have been if we lived together. It is a hard work. And to my daughters, I love you. You have been the reason why I am where I am. She has been my anchor. She has stood with me. I I can't explain. But what I'm telling you, whether I am alive or not alive, this woman, this woman should never sleep hungry, should never lack food, should never lack medicine, as long as you are alive. And it is because of that, I have worked for now it's approaching that years. Many times I used to feel that you may choke. That David is sick. It requires millions. These are millions, sister. Talk about it. Amuka we end the case. Ngeta kiwe kasi na botel. Nani na amuka? Kuna tano mutenye ndat kasi kila siku. Because I loved him. Gamungi chama. Whether we could live together or not, it was a different thing. Oh, mone ge lagi mo mengi shetu ana la kogi na tete. Lagi na gine gine tukila siku iko kasi kogi tete sikuwa sikuwa njana ndat. I don't know where you have placed national housing. You are going to have national housing operation. They are seated here. They are seated here. Yes. This is what I want to say to national housing. Call Mr. Ruita. Thank him. When you go back, call Isabella Mbosire. Thank her. You people are not for people like Kirui. Kirui is my friend, and this Kirui is also to do things which are going to damage him. I will commune with this Kirui. This God Simon Kirui. I will make sure this just so right. The Matia, Asa de Sana. The Matia. We are going to be able to do the things which are going to damage him. I will make sure this just so right. The Matia. Asa de Sana. The Matia. We are going to be able to do the things which are going to damage him. Even if you are driving, I will call you and tell you I'm down. Take it easy. I what do I say about national housing? Jesa, you have been my mother. Kazi ni nataki wa dikuwe bosi yake. Like it's good to be here. Because she is my mother. Iwo guru guga me. Iwo katika kuchini. 
Kuna Marianne hapo. Kuna Marianne. Hata ni young girl. Ni Marianne. Mpaka hata siku hizi sasa anajua watoto yangu na wanafanya business vitu mingi pamoja. Ni lucky to have biashara tool. Eh again yako hapo ni rafiki mkubwa sana. Shukuru. Na ninashukuru. Uh-huh. Mbona wapi mwingine hapo wa National Housing? Kuna driver hapo. Driver. Asanteni sana. Na washukuru ni. Na ukifika. Eh hey, Jesa. Upigie Kirwa. Ibirje Kirwa. Upigie Biwot. Na ibirje Biwot. Oh, those are drivers. Ali ndareba yake. But they are very personal friends to of mine. Lakini vikie. Wamenisaidia sana. Wanakuja kwa nyumba yangu. Please like the one like father to my children. Yuko anaisha kwa blog. Wanafundisha watoto hata wao ndio wamewafundisha driving. Hii ni teje gasi. Ame watu katika ile. Wewe na yaf issues. Na tinya ngale. Na mwambie unaweza nisaidia hii. Ah mwani vicha za kutoa rata. I appreciate and I am very thankful. Mwao yuko ngoi kabisa. Kuna marafiki wangu hapo wanatoka kwa Kericho. Hebu msimame mahali mko Yes, so uh, that you gra- become better mothers uh, and better wives so better women in the society and thank you so much you are mjanisumbua asandeni sana asande my sister umewa train vizuri thank you thank you so much i hope that message is very clear ameongelesha watoto wake vizuri to be a better mothers than ha mali yeye akurekebisha akufanya vizuri you as the daughters move just say your pain Now, Poleni 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 lakini nataka sisi tumetoka National Housing Corporation na mumesikia tunafanya pamoja na sister yetu Esther Esther Kogo Oye mutia missing pole sana of course you are part of us National Housing where, where is uh, Joel was also part of us there is a former staff member also from this family hapo ashuyo Eh kwa yeye jamenda. Hata kwa yeye juu mwanza yes. Karibuni sana. Poleni poleni as a as a National Housing Corporation nataka nipatie just one word for each and every person mwenye amekuja hapa. Amacha kwa mamutio ni jina. So every staff member in HC please kuja ukisema poda like ni amacha kwa bwana ngeni kidogo utatuliza. Esther not Esther. Edna we can just come say pole amjambuni sema jina lako kama jina naitwa Edna mtoka kutoka makueni poleni sana i never had a jury from baringo james mandere mtoka kisi tunafanya na esta poleni wana kichichi poleni sana asante kama tu kigosi mnyongirui ami nyongoi kwa yuto ni kilele mpole sana Praise God. Naitwa Miriam from National Housing Corporation. Mko sipiwa. Naitwa Christine Chasa. Tunafanya na Esther. Na nasema ni pole kwa hii family. Na kitu moja tu nataka ku testify ni I think ni sure brother Gary alisema hapa. Tumeshai kwenda na Esther kwao na Telet Kirui. Na vile Joel alisema Oko anaongea na mama, oko anasikisana na duka. But you could see the laugh. We stayed there for three days and I saw it. I testified. Asante Esther. Na tushukuru. So eh uh, nafikiri just just uh, for the sake of uh, time. Jina anaitwa nani? 
Anaitwa David Ngea, eh, Ngea, Ngea, no, Ngea, no, Ngea, no, David. Then, uh, you also retired from NHC. Anaitwa JC, we call him JC. He also retired from NHC. We are Anaitwa Bonacoet, working with Kenya Railways, formerly at NHC. Who else have I left? Nobody. So this is the fraternity Kutoka National the Condolence from the MD National House. Uh, thank you, Keitan. え、サタコリ、ボンバナファシ、フリコナ、メジャーデビットコミコンゴンジョ。そこなグループ、いや、マラフィキアデビット。え、とき、ワスリアナナテレル。ビフォーザワッツアップグループ。そこなマラフィコ
Andi ni chai kii kese Andi ba ati nye esta Kwa lito siwa salari Andi mawe sali Kwa kia mula josi Yata josi Wabi ni josi Dunyo sana Ya kwa na kwa na Na kwa na kwa na kwa itari university Andi si kwa na ni kere sa yungko Ata wasko mula kwa na 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 kwa So cakap dulu lah, semua orang orang kau ini mahu buang ini. Amat jauh bawa musik ini lagi, ini lagi bilang aku ini lagi. Aku ni dah ayam kau kalau nak buang ini, kau mahu apa ni? Cakap dulu mahu buang ini. Masa bawa mimi ni chip buat apa? Assistant chip buat apa? Makan ribu syarat. Tapi apa ni? Nak ni nak makan ribu syarat. Feel free, security tu kau kau. Kau kau kena muncul nak makan ribu syarat ni. Siapa yang ni? Mam mam yang macam tak yang kalau nak lekik hari ni, kau kau tak yang kau sangat masuk itu. Chip melayu ni pernah chip chip pernah rumah ni. Familia ya ala budu kuote, familia kutoka kwa kinaesta, marafiki na jamaa wa NFC, familia wote, marafiki pamoja na wale wote wambaya mekunja tumamelesa pamoja. Ya aku ni kusema pole kwa niyaba ya wakati wote wa area hii na kwa niyaba ya serikali kwa sababu tumepotesa kiumuzi moja katika sehemu yetu. So tunasema pole kwa kuwa tumepoteza kwa na David Kirui ambaye ni mwenzetu. So kwa sababu tuko na niko na machips ambao nataka sehemu zingine ningependa tu labda wasikuja waseme jina alafu kwa sababu ya hadi anga mimi nakaa tunataka tuende haraka haraka. Labda waseme tu jina alafu Asante kwa majina inaitwa Mapena Chief kutoka Mbomos. Karibu sana. So we are talking about Mbomos na bado ni family anatoka family hii. Eh Labda kwa sababu watu wa siasa wako nitasema tu wacha tumalizie hapo. Alafu tuende kwa graveside tumalize leo yale ya siku ya leo alafu tuendelee. Asante sana. So,